Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jados X here and welcome to Minitup Monday episode 7 where today I'm going to show you guys how to create volumetric fog in 3ds Max. Volumetric fog is great because it allows you to create a whole heap of different atmospheric effects such as obviously fog but it's also great for creating things like mist or clouds or even filling like a, a hole in the ground with a black fog to make it look like an endless void. Um, I'm just going to use a scanline renderer in this tutorial today but it also works well with mental ray so no matter what you're doing you should be good to go. I've just got a standard scene set up here with some basic lighting with a skylight and a spotlight, but that's not really important to the um, to the tutorial either. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to create an object to put the fog in, and we're going to do that using a gizmo. So if we just go over to the create panel, and we'll just go over to the helpers window. After that's done, you're going to want to just go to the drop down and make sure atmospheric apparatus is selected. Um, after that, it'll give us these three options, and they're all different shapes for what we can put our fog in. I'm just going to create a box gizmo, because that aligns roughly with what I want to do. There we go. And this is what all the fog is going to go into. Now to create the actual fog effect. All you have to do is hit 8 on the environment, uh, on the keyboard to bring up the environment and effects uh, window. Then just go down to the atmosphere rollout and the effects panel, and click add. After that, you just want to select Volume Fog, and we're almost done. Now we just have to pick a gizmo to put the fog into. So all we have to do is click Pick Gizmo, and then click the box gizmo we just created. It's worth noting that you can actually put one volume, volume fog effect into as many gizmos as you like, and you can view them all just by looking at this drop down here. Now that that's done, we'll just give it a render, and we'll see what it looks like. So, as you can see, we've got sort of this patchy mess which looks okay but really not really at all so um, now we're going to look at some of the properties in the volume fog effect to cr make it look a bit better so volume fog is created using a noise algorithm so if you look at these these four options here changing these changes the appearance of the fog because it changes which noise algorithm is used for example turbulence is really great for creating clouds as you can see right there I'm going to go and look at how to create now like a misty effect for the floor of a nightclub, for example. So to do that, I'm going to pick the fractal fog because it works a little bit better as it's slightly more uniform in some areas, but it's also, you know, it's also great for creating clouds. If you tweak it though, it can be more uniform. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a bit more dense. We'll go with 50, I think. There we go. So now things are looking a bit more dense. We're going to make it more uniform. And basically, if we look at the uniformity roller here, this determines how many gaps you've got in your fog. So I'm going to make this pretty uniform. We'll go for 0 0.95. There we go. So now we've got this sort of nice uniform fog, but it's clearly very, very dense. So we're going to turn the density down. There we go. That's looking a bit better now. And we're also going to change the color. So we'll make it sort of look like this light gray mist. Here we go. And we'll make it a bit less dense. It's really all just about tweaking. You can create a whole heap of different effects just by tweaking it. So there we go. That's sort of a, a, a nice basic looking nightclub uh, mist machine uh, floor, dance floor feel. Um, but what else can you do with volume fog? We can actually make it move. For example, if you wanted to create fog or mist that was blowing from the wind, you can actually go down to these properties here and, to, and uh, tell the effect which direction it's blowing in and then to make it actually move you have to um, turn wind strength up to something higher than zero otherwise it won't move at all. It's also worth noting that because fog is created using a noise algorithm uh, you, can also, you also are um, exposed to these noise algorithm controls here. Um, size is quite an interesting one because that basically changes the zoom on the noise algorithm and all noise algorithms are animatable over time so creating uh, by changing the phase property by animating the phase property you can actually create some cool looking clouds that will sort of warp and change as they would do in the, re in, uh, the real world um, just to show you what I mean I'm gonna just turn up the size property and we'll see how it looks there we go so by making the size a bit bigger as you can see our the the uh, lighter patches in the fog are also they're a bit bigger and the darker patches are bigger and it's just sort of it's helped in our case with this uniformity um, now 
Something which you may notice, I'll just bring the render up again, is that the edges of the gizmos, you can see, you can quite easily see where the, the gizmo ends, and this might not be what you want. So the way you change this is by going back into the volume fog parameters and looking at the softened gizmo edges roller. Um, if you change that down to zero, it'll make some very hard edges, as you can see here. And if you want to sort of make it look a bit more natural, you can increase the softness. So I'll go for the full full effect, and we'll see what it looks like. Here we go. So I think that looks like quite a good sort of nightclub uh, uh, fog machine dance full look right there. Um, but it really is just about playing with these and seeing what you can create. You can create a huge amount of effects with it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped, and I hope you've learned something.